Good morning, it's Terry in Danu's Irish Herb Garden. And it's a really beautiful winter day here. Um, unlike yesterday, we've got blue skies, so it's a great opportunity to get out and dig up some roots for winter medicine making. I've already made several winter remedies, but today I'm going to get the elecampane root and the horseradish root. And I'm using my lovely basket I got for my birthday from my friend Heike. Come on, dogs! Come on, Jazz! So I'm digging up horseradish root. And um, I've plenty left in there for next year. This will be more than sufficient for me at the moment. And horseradish is, if you've ever tasted it, you know how it makes your eyes run and your nose run. So you can imagine if you've blocked up with congestion and, and really thick catarrh, this is the answer. Because it gets all those mucus, um, all the mucus in those areas thinned and able to run and you can relieve your congestion. You can use it externally as well as a poultice. If you had um, bronchitis, you can make a poultice and put it onto your chest. And it's good for rheumatism as well. What I do with it is I put it into my fireside vinegar, which is a Rosemary Gladstar recipe. You put it in there with garlic and onions and chili peppers. You put on your vinegar and you leave it to sit. Um, I've actually done a video about fire cider vinegar, so I'll put a little card thing up. So the next thing I want to dig up is elecampane. So this is the remainders of it. It, it is a beautiful wild sunflower and uh, the root is an amazing uh, respiratory herb. It helps with practically every kind of respiratory problem from asthma to emphysema to bronchitis to whooping cough. So this area of the herb garden is actually turning into a kind of pulmonary area. Um, we've got the elecampane, new mullen is coming up, old mullen is dying off, there's pulmonaria there and there's a bit of horseradish in here as well somewhere. So I'm going to dig up the elecampane root and the way this works is it's got antibacterial properties which is obviously a good thing if you're suffering from some kind of infection. There we are, look, quite close to the surface. And it's also very relaxing. So where you have, you know, spasms and, um, oops, I've just damaged a mullen leaf. So if you have spasms and again, you've got thick catarrh and the, the pathways are blocked, Elecampane. Oh wow, look, there's loads of it here. You see, I had one plant here and now I've, well, I had about half a dozen this year because it self seeds and it, it spreads, I think by the roots as well. You can look at all these new little, little baby ones. So I d obviously don't want to take all, all of that. So I'm just going to break some of it off. Ugh. <laughs> Come out! I'm going to break some of this off and um, put the rest back and it will come up again in the summer. And like I say, it's a wild sunflower. So you get a beautiful flower as well as all this medicine. It also um, contains a constituent called inulin, which works to balance your blood sugars. So it can actually help prevent diabetes. Obviously not on its own. You'd have to have a sensible diet, but it's one of the plants that can help with the management of blood sugars. I think I've got enough there for, for my needs. Um, obviously, if anybody else was to need this kind of herbal relief. I have lots more, but look at the new ones ready. It's been such a mild winter so far that we've already got little shoots coming up. 
It's fan fantastic. You know, you feel safe and secure when you have your herb garden flourishing like this. It's brilliant. And um, I just want to settle this back into place. Make sure those roots are going down. And uh, just give them a bit of cover. I might have to throw a bit of soil over them just to make sure they're okay. Oh my God, there's a big root there. I'm going to take that root as well because it's asking to come. Look at it. So there, and look at all the mullein. I know now that next year I'm going to have lots of lovely, wonderful mullein plants. And they're also a fantastic respiratory herb. I have my roots. I'm going to take them into the kitchen now, wash them gently because there's a lot of soil on them. And then I'm going to tincture them. And again, I can put up a card there to show you how I made a time tincture last winter. If there's anybody in your family prone to congestion of the sinuses or thick catarrh and chest problems, I really, really can't recommend these two plants enough. Um, they're both perennial, so you're going to have them forever, you know, within reason. And they look beautiful growing in the garden and they're a brilliant asset. So thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day where you are and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.